Konnichiwa! Welcome to How to Japanese series. In this video, you will learn how to make a self-introduction to meet someone for the first time in Japanese. Option 1 Tanaga desu. Suzuki desu. Japanese people tend to introduce themselves using their last name. Des is similar to the English verb to be, or is, am, are, depending on the noun in front of it. Tanaga des means I am Tanaga. Des always appears in the end of a Japanese sentence. Option 2 Tanaga to yimasu. Suzuki to yimasu. You can also use to yimasu to introduce your name, which means I am called so and so. Option 3. Tanaka to moshimasu. Suzuki to moshimasu. Another way to introduce one's name is to put to moshimasu after the name. It literally means I am humbly called so and so. This expression is slightly more polite than option two. By lowering yourself using humble speech, you express even more politeness. So how do we say how do you do or nice to meet you in Japanese? There are two ways to say this. Hachimemashite, hachimemashite, or dozo yoroshiku, dozo yoroshiku. Now let's put these expressions with one's name for a self-introduction. For Tanaka, he would say, Hachimemashite, Tanaka to moshimasu, dozo yoroshiku. For Suzuki, she could say, Suzuki desu. Hachimemashite. Dozo yoroshiku. How about you? How would you introduce yourself for the first time in Japanese? Please remember spoken language must go with the body language. It is very important to know when to bow in Japan and the right way to bow. Japanese people bow standing up or sitting down on a chair or on a tatami mat on their knees. Japanese people bow when they want to show respect, express gratitude, say goodbye, offer an apology or sympathy, and to congratulate someone to name a few. The correct way to bow in Japan is to bend at the waist, feet together, eyes downward, and have your arms straight at your sides for men. Women often bow with their fingertips together or hands collapse in front at thigh level. The deeper the bow and the longer it is held, the more respect and submission are shown. Regarding Japanese names, the correct order is to use their family name first, followed by their given name. In the West, it is the other way around. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Dewa mata!